What's up guys, it's Jake of the Blockable here, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you my Pyrus Pokemon Armored Alliance Pokemon, not Battle Planet, Armored Alliance. I'm finished showing off all my Pokemon Battle Planet uh, Bakugan, we are now moving on to a new um, series, Bakugan Armored Alliance. And before you guys watch today's video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you have not. Without further ado, let's get to today's video. Alright guys, so I'm now going to be showing you the Bakugan Armored Alliance Pyrus Bakugan. And I'm going to be going through the Ultras and then the uh, normal Bakugan. So the full first Ultra of the pile is Dragonoid Ultra. He is a really strong Bakugan. I really like his stats. He has 900 B power and 2 attack power, which is uh, really good uh, when you are playing the... Uh, toy battling game if you're playing the trading card game the two attack power might not be the best um attack power Bakugan could have but he's super powerful and b power which is the reason i like to use him his cores are a flaming fist and a shield core so we can put his car over there now okay here he is dragonite ultra he does have like a lot of manual parts I don't know what it is, but Dragonoids, they just have a lot of manual parts. So, at the top here, your horn, his horn is manual. His arms right here are manual. And his little feet are manual. Another thing I really like about this guy is his magnet is really loose. So, it is really likely that he'll open. So, that is really uh, something I really like about him. Now, to close him, oh, and also another manual part, his wings can fold out like this. I don't know why they really did that, because, yeah, I just don't know why they really did that, because it doesn't really add anything on that much. It just doesn't make it look that much better, is what I'm trying to say. So, now to close him, you just got to put all those manual parts in, tuck his um, head in. His little claw thing at the end of his tail. Fold his tail in. Uh, put his wings in. His legs in. And finally this little thing on the back in. And then you have him in a pretty good ball. He rolls pretty good. Uh, he doesn't really have that many parts sticking out. Except there's just these little lumps on his feet. But they probably won't do really anything to the roll. So... There he is. Next ultra on our list is um, Bactrix Ultra. He has 700 B power and 2 attack power. He's a lot like Dragonoid, really powerful in B power, but uh, uh, just a uh, pretty weak in attack power. His cores are a Helix core and a um, a Shield core. So I'm just going to put his card over there. Now, which one is he? Yep. Here he is. There are no manual parts on this guy. He looks very bat-like. I really like how they designed him. So, not to close him, you just gotta fold his head in, his little ears in, his wings in, his little feet in, his tail, and this thing on the back in. Perfect. Now, here's our ball. We're gonna put it to the side. Now, um... The another ultra, the next ultra, on the in the pile is Halcor Ultra. He has five hundred B power and five attack power. This is a pretty average um ultra. His cores are two green fists, which I don't really like because green fists are usually really weak and don't apply that much B power. Sometimes they apply a lot of attack power, but yep, I just don't like um his two green fists. Uh, and yep, he, he's pretty average for an ultra with the 500 B power and 5 attack power. I'm gonna put him to the side and let me pull him out. Here he is, Halcor Ultra. He does have manual parts, these um, two front paws you have to fold up. There we go, like that. Um, uh, I really like how they did him, except for how his heads are so tiny and like his legs are so big. I don't really like how he has, like, tiny heads and stuff. They made his head just a little bigger. I think I I think I would have been happy with his head, but I'm a little happy with his heads right now, but 
I don't really like how they're super tiny and small. So now to close him, you just gotta fold the manual parts in, fold these back feet in, and push it, the two legs together like that. Fold his heads, heads, yeah, heads in. I was almost gonna say head, but he does have multiple heads. And just fold his little tail back like that. Voila. There it goes. Now the last um, Ultra on our list is Eonok Ultra. He has 400 B power and 6 attack power. Um, his B power is uh, pretty weak for an Ultra, but his attack power is pretty good. His uh, cores are uh, a shield core and a flaming fist core. Now we're going to put his card to the side. Oh, and also this guy is translucent. Like this. He, he's like see-through and stuff. It's really cool. And then he just still has one manual part. These little horns. That's like two manual parts. But now there he is. He looks really cool with his translucent um, uh, wings and his horns and neck. And this thing is like the big main translucent thing on him. His uh, feet also have a little bit of translucent stuff. Now, to close him, you just got to fold his horns in, fold his head in, fold his um, tail in. Now, fold his legs in, then his, oh, see, it's hard to show, it's hard to close him on camera. So, like that, fold his little legs in like that, fold his tail in. His, uh, there we go, his wings in, and then now his um, little uh, back thing that a lot of vultures have in Arm Alliance. There you go. He looks really uh, cool in his translucent form. You can even see the little magnet since it's see-through. So that's super cool. Oh, and he does have Baku gear. If you guys don't know what Baku gear is. It's a thing in the trading card game and in the uh, the uh, basic uh, toy battling game. It is where in the toy battling game, if uh, your Baku lands on a a Baku Gear core, they can activate the Baku Gear, which gives them a boost. I think the card that came with Enox Baku Gear is a Burn Cutter. It gives you 100 B power and 5 attack power. And in the trading card game, it is 3 energy to activate. Um, here, here, just gotta put all his Baku gear on. So, yep, and there we go. He looks really geared up for battle. Um, gotta flip his horns up. Yep, that looks a lot better. Yep, there's Enoch with Baku gear right there. So, yep, I'm going to put his card next to him as well. Alright, so that was the final uh, Pyrus Ultra that I have. Next, moving on to uh, the Shibaku gun right here. Um, first up, uh, Nilius. He has 600 B power, which is uh, pretty strong for just a normal Baku gun, and one attack power. I don't really like the one attack power. It's not very useful in the trading card game. But in just the toy battling game, the 600 B power is really strong. And his two cores are two flaming fists. There, the two flaming fists like fit perfect since he's a pirate Bakugan. Here he is. Now he does have manual parts. Just gotta fold his little legs out like that. Here he is right here. Now to close him, gotta fold his little um, legs in, his manual parts in. Fold the wings in, fold the head in, and this back tail thing. You have um, no ways in a ball. Let's so come off to the side. Alright, stay still. Okay, next on our list is Dragonoid. He has 400 B power and 4 attack power. Pretty average for uh, just a normal Bakugan. His two cores are two Green Fist. Um, I don't really like the Green Fist, but. Um, I do like his special, um, ability. If he lands on a green fist, he gets six extra attack power, which could bring him all the way up to ten attack power or more. 
if he lands on green fist and green fist are really common and one of the most common cores so that's really uh good now here he is he does have a manual part his little horn on the top gonna fold that up his really like how they did him he kind of looks a little bit snake like i would, I would say it's just a little bit he also looks uh, very dragon like too to close him just pull his horn in put his little face in like that fold this back thing in fold his legs in oh. if you do it wrong his head could pop out and make it a little hard for you to fold his head in so she got a head legs with this back little tail thing and then boom you have him in a ball all right we're coming down to the last of the uh, Pyrus Bakugan. Is um, he's not the last, but he's second to last. It's Auxilator. He has 400 B power and five attack power. Pretty average for uh, just a normal Bakugan. I really like his cores. Two magic shields. Magic shields can be one of the most uh powerful uh Bakugan cores in the game. So I really like how he has two uh magic. Shields for his cores. Here he is, right here. To he just has one manual part. I never realized how many manual parts all these people have. His horn. Just gotta fold it out like that. There we go. I really like. I really like how he looks on his card, and I really like how he looks just as the toy. It's really cool. Now uh, to close him, put his horn in, put his feet in, push his body back. Fold his wings in like that, and his back tail, wah, like that, he is a ball. So there's a deal tour, and the last Pyrus Bakugan is Maxidon. He is, he's a little weak, I mean like, just a little, because he has 200 B power and 2 attack power, but his two cores are Helix cores, and if he lands on a Helix core, he gets 300 B power and double strike, so like, you get what I mean, like, kind of weak, but if he gets that effect, it can really help him, because his course can be super strong, and if he also gets that extra 300 B power for one, he can become really powerful. There, he, he's going to put his card off to the side. Open up! I forgot to get box cords out, so I just been throwing them on the table. Hold on. Oh, this table is metallic. I can just put them on the table. Sorry guys, so here he is. No manual parts, I don't think, on this guy. He looks uh, like an, I think he's like supposed to be an elephant or like a mammoth or something. I think it, they're, I think they're called mammoths. Yeah. Alright, so now to close him, just gotta put his little tongue in. I mean, not tongue, his trunk in. Put his legs in right here. And just gotta fold his little tail in the back in. Push it all together, and finally, fold his um, arms in on the side. There we go, then you have him in the ball. Alright, so those are all the Pyrus Bakugan, but like the other videos, I'm going to do a thing where I roll them out. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit now.
think that's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you have not. I hope you enjoyed seeing the first part of my Bakuan Armored Alliance collection. I'm Jake the Bakuan, and I'll see you next time. Bye!